I shot better days over 101 days after weeks of planning. I made a 3D model to calculate my beard growth and see what frame rate I should use and I ended up at 15 frames a second and that would give me 2117 individual frames to shoot. Ben Cooper from Radical Face, he sent me a clip of him singing the song that he wrote and I used that to find out where to put the emphasis on certain phrases. Then I made a ton of mock-up videos and tests and I spliced all my favorite takes together and I added cheap effects and visual guides for each frame. Then I split the final reference video into 2000 frames, manually sorted them into folders and got them ready for the nightly shoots. And this is my workspace here, this is my bedroom and I put this blackboard over here, I got my chalk and eraser and I also have a mirror on the wall and this has a blue gel so I can get a little bit of a blue tint reflection on the side of my face just to add a little color variation. Uh, this room has blinds, very easy to move just because I have to keep lighting consistent that's why I shoot at night and just in case there's moonlight or the neighbors have the lights on or anything else. The camera is mounted on a tripod, the tripod is taped to the ground. The camera, instead of a lens cap, it has just this little cloth, so I don't have to touch it too much, just to avoid any shake. And even the lens, instead of, uh, instead of being an autofocus, it's set to manual focus and then taped down, just so I don't move it by mistake. Also in this room, I got eye markers, like that one over there. There's a few more on the ground here, and a few on the walls. And those are because when I'm shooting, I'm actually sitting here staring at my computer and I have to hit the shutter after I look at a particular direction. So I'm planning over here, then I move my eyes and then I hit the shutter. And that's to keep the eye direction consistent. Otherwise, my eyes will be drifting everywhere and I'm trying to hold a steady position. So that's what I have set up here. Uh, tonight I'm going to shoot 22 more frames, so let's go to the demo. This is the frame I'm going to be shooting, frame 859. I'll load that image as a reference image and put it as a transparency behind myself. And I have this app that mirrors the screen, so I can actually see it more like a real mirror, otherwise I'll get really lost in here. So this is the frame I have to shoot, and so what I do first is I gotta fix the board, clean up the board in this way, and there's a little red dot. It's very simple, all I need to do is place a dot there. It doesn't need to be too perfect because it's actually kind of blurry. Make sure everything's straight so I don't have any creases. I grab my mouse, sit down, I put my shoulder blades against the blackboard, and then I gotta find the pose. So I'm gonna talk through this. Sometimes I'm gonna talk like a ventriloquist a little bit so I can get to the right pose. First thing I do is I find a way to line up my shoulders and neck. If I get that right, I know that my head is gonna be in about the right position. Then I line up my ears and my nose. Sometimes it's my ears look like they're too far apart it's because I am actually facing forward too much and that makes my head bigger in the frame. And then I can do my nose. Once I have three points of reference, I know that I'm locked into the actual position. I don't use my eyes or my mouth because those change too much. And now I'm going to talk like this while I find the right position. And if you look in the screen here, there's a symbol that says D. That's the direction I have to look at. That's one of the markers in the room. There's a bunch of tape markers that are located everywhere. So that tells me exactly the eye direction I need to fix. I didn't look quite at the right angle. So I'm gonna redo this one. Luckily it gives me like a half a second after I expose to see if I got it right, where I can see an overlay. If I move my eyes back really fast, I can get a glimpse of what I caught. D is right actually at the lens of the camera, so it's a little creepy, I'm staring straight at it. I think that was good, but I'm going to take another exposure. I, I keep shooting a lot of different ones and I verify to see what's better. Okay, so this one's a pretty easy one, relatively. The mouth is closed, the eyes are just normal, relaxed. So I unmirror my image temporarily. I go into Finder and I got all my exposures here. I, I really shot a little bit tonight. And I'm going to flip through these. See, the first one was really off. I was looking way to the right. So I don't like that one. Then I got three more. This one's okay. That looks a little better. So I'm going to keep 31, delete 32. And that shot is done. So I go to my preview, flip to the next image, go back to the Canon software. I'm going to load the next, make it big, mirror it. This one says I have to look at I. The marker I doesn't actually exist. It's down here in my monitor and between my monitor and my keyboard. It's a little trickier because that, those are transitional frames where I'm going to have to find the exact position 
by comparing to the reference image. I don't really need to wipe the whole board, I just randomize it a little bit because these are frames are 100 frames apart in the film, so I don't have to really clean everything. There's a lot of dots on this one, so the one here. The short is uh, 15 frames a second, so that's why I need to try to be as precise as possible because every mistake will be a little too chaotic and too randomized once you play it at 15 frames. More dots. This one's kind of behind my ear, and I don't think I'm actually going to see it, but just in case if my pose is not perfect, I'll put it there. And there's one more on top of my head. I'm going to ignore that. That's just an overlap that I, I had. I didn't mask it properly when I did this in Premiere. Okay, so that's ready. Uh, reset my clothing. Line up shoulders. My mouth is stretched that way, but not too much. And I have to look somewhere between my screen and my keyboard. I'm not sure exactly where, so I'm gonna take a few. Okay, it's really hard to keep the chest in the right position without breathing too much. Go back to finder. Let's see. First exposure, I'm definitely looking too far down. Second one, I'm squinting. Third one looks good. Fourth, a little higher, looks better. I like this one. The last one has a little more relaxed eyes. The mouth is not quite as stretched as it could be, but if I Push it, I get creases when I try to fake it, so it's actually very good. Okay, so it's a different type. The board doesn't have the radial lines, that means I first have to neutralize everything by just randomize the board so there's no lines everywhere. When I do this, sometimes I get rid of too much chalk, so I add a little more. It's fine if it's messy, but actually, before I do the dots, I'm gonna do the, the arrow. The arrow indicates a single direction of swipes, I'm gonna line it up there and then I can do basically cover the whole board in that direction because the arrow is really big. If the arrow was small, I would not cover the whole board. There you go. And there's one red dot here, and the other ones are over my face, so I don't have to worry about those. So, hand positions, these are very hard. Let me see. Cat is meowing. For my hand, I stretch out a little bit to get my sleeve in the right position first, otherwise, it gets too high. My head is forward on this one. Here is the locking one, the right ear, then my nose. Now I can start positioning the hand. The thumb is under the chin. There's a little pressure here. It's actually a pull, so I'm gonna have to start higher and pull down. Middle finger goes there. It's so hard to find this position. Ring finger is hidden, and every motion I make with my hand changes my head. Fitting close. Now I gotta find the mouth. It's kind of a smirk pull, something like that. Getting the eyes is really hard on these because I cannot see what I'm shooting once I move my eyes. Okay, so sometimes the hand actually helps to keep things steady, but getting the first position is really hard. I definitely don't like the first. This one's pretty good already. It's a little too open. So between all these, I think I like 39 because the eyes are better matched. Frame 1168. This one again is a clean board. So start with a wipe. There's a small arrow. Small arrow just means that at some point it'll grow to a bigger arrow, so it's a transitional moment. <sighs> All right, so stretch my sleeve out a little bit. Here first, thumb way behind the chin. There's no pressure on my skin on this one, so I'm gonna just let it float there. Middle finger up there. Ring finger goes below, and pinky curls in. And I have to hold every finger in the right position for this whole time. Mouth is very open. fingers get changed in position, that's the hardest part. So I got a little too much gap between my fingers and all of these. This one looks better. The eyes are really good on this last one. The mouth is perfect. So I'm going to delete everything but the last. Let's go to the next one. Load file 1266. Simple shot, straightforward, but matching those teeth is really hard. I have to hold it there and start breathing through my diaphragm and not my lungs anymore. So I'm going to have to do this and hold the chest position this whole time. The teeth. <sighs> okay. These are really hard to match. Um, I don't know if they work. A lot of these I end up repeating. Okay, next. Uh, so this one's a tricky one. This is looking at F over there. I cannot actually see the screen when I look at F. So I gotta put my 
monitor dangling here, almost to the point where it tips over. I just barely let it sit there. Hope it doesn't fall. And this one has a very strong directional arrow up. I start here, and I go up here. And I'll just cover the board this way. So these lines are basically indicating my eye direction. They kind of follow me around, and then during the chorus, they go a little crazy and um, start like relax. Match the ear first, then my nose. It's really good. Okay, that forces my eyes to look to the side like that too much. That's pretty good already. First one is good. Second one is a little too close now. Like the first, the eyes are more open. So let's go to the next one. Skip a few shots there. Um, this is another radio shot. More dots over here. So this one says marker E, which is over there, and I gotta keep my eyes in a weird position. It's really hard to match that because my lower eyelids have to be up, but without squinting too much. Something like that. Also gotta match my eyebrows in this one, which is super hard. Sometimes it's easier to exaggerate the pose and then let it relax. I think I might have gotten it. <laughs> it's a terrible, terrible one. Marker E is actually a little farther than what this eye direction asks for, but I'm going to keep consistent to marker E instead of what the image shows, just because that way I know my eyes are not gonna flicker all over the place. Next shot, this is 1866. I'll just wipe the board quickly. And I have three dots on top of each other. They probably merge into one shape. And this is a transition after a tongue flick. That is something like that. So it's a recovery from that. So I'm gonna repeat that motion and try to match the pose after that. Okay, I think that's good. So I'm gonna wipe the whole board. And then I'm gonna add some more chalk because it's getting a little thin. So this is a new marker in this shot, in the corner, it's a little smiley face. That's just a reminder for me to smile with my eyes and my mouth, and not just with my mouth, because this is the end of the film, and I don't want to look super creepy. It has to have a little more honest smile in there. So I'm going to match this, and use my eyes. It's a little pull on the cheek, that's more than enough. It's still not a full-on smile, so I don't want to overdo this one. I can't tell the difference, so I'm just going to pick one at random. And this is the final shot of the night. Let's load it up. Shot 2066. I'm just going to get rid of the dots. Get a new nice pattern in here. And it's another smiley face. This is close to the end of the film. I want to leave it with a nice positive expression. My neck goes back, but not too forced. Line up the ears, nose. Ears again. Big smile for the end. Oh. Alright, let's see. That worked. <laughs> smile is so tense and terrible. It's a little just pulling face muscles too much. I'm actually gonna redo this because my lip is protruding. It looks totally fake. So it's my first total redo of the night. I reset everything. So hard to smile without meaning it. Let's see if that worked. A little better. I'm gonna like the first one because the lip is not as shiny. So that's it. So the last thing I do after I got all my exposures is I take a look here and see if it says 22. That means I shot 22 frames, which is what I was looking to do tonight. That means I got all the ones that I needed. I moved these to the folder for this particular day, which is day 50. 
and I can quit out of this, quit out of that, and I just gotta clean up, turn everything off, open my windows, and I'm done. And that's it. This was a fucking nightmare to make, to be honest, and I would never recommend anyone else to try it. It was super painful and it took a lot more work than I expected, but it's done now, so go watch it. Yeah, it's probably gonna take some time. There are better days to find